Now, today marks six months since the eruption of Mount Nyiragongo in Goma in the Democratic Republic of Congo. 32 people died and hundreds of thousands were displaced, many of whom are still living in temporary homes. What's more, local doctors say they fear the harmful gases and ash from the eruption have led to respiratory illness. And that many people are not aware they could still be affected. Mount Nyiragongo is an active volcano located inside the Virunga National Park, about 12 kilometers north of Goma and just west of the border with Rwanda. Where well, the BBC's health correspondent, Roda Odiambo, reports from Goma. It looks calm now, but whenever it rains, Mount Nyiragongo spews a huge cloud of black smoke into the skies. Within seconds, that smoke mixes with the air circulating across the city of Goma, and people here say it's affecting their health. I had a chest problem. I had a lot of pain in my chest and stomach. It felt like the ashes I inhaled were inside me. Farida is 62 and has witnessed three volcanic eruptions in her life. She lost her home in the eruption in May. Now she lives in a temporary camp for people displaced by the eruption. Her physical health is better, she says, but she remains traumatized. At night, I start running and my heart starts beating faster. I'm gripped by fear as I'm always thinking that the volcano will explode again. The city of Goma sits on two volcanic mountains, that's Nyamulagira and Nyiragongo, that can erupt at any time. This is what's left after the recent eruption in May. And as people rush back to rebuild in a place they once called home, Experts monitoring the mountains say the air circulating here is not clean and that people could be suffering without them knowing. Dr. Machioya Lire heads the geochemistry department at Goma's Volcano Observatory. He monitors the volcano's activity. That involves going up the mountain at least twice a month, and he says his own health has been affected. I've gone up that mountain so many times, and when I went to the hospital for a checkup, the doctor said that I am a smoker. Every now and then, that smoke moves towards the town, and it smells like a rotten egg. Local doctors say that those who inhale the air risk getting respiratory and eye infections. And the fear is that many people in Goma could have deposits of volcanic ash and other pollutants in their bodies without being aware of it. Since management is not limited to the hospital, it is always said that prevention has always been better than cure or curative management. So we advised them to take barrier measures, but also to reinforce hygienic and dietary measures by using masks or by buying glasses because this ash also causes lesions on the eyes. Aside from the toxic gases from Mount Nyiragongo, there are also concerns about the levels of dissolved carbon dioxide and methane in Lake Kivu. Hot springs under the lake caused by volcanic eruptions could potentially lead to a massive explosion releasing those gases into the air. For now, the monitoring teams say they need more resources, particularly up-to-date equipment, so they can make earlier predictions. As for Farida and her neighbors, their hope is for a permanent and a safe home. But the unpredictability of Mount Nyiragongo makes it hard to guarantee. Rodo Diambo, BBC News, Goma.